Okay, so hopefully you got all that uh, entered. So if you hold the start key down, you press X. That brings up X menu. And then you look in device manager. And you plug in your little nano. Which I'm doing right And port should come up. And there he is. Our little nano. And it works. And if you can't get to this point, if you can't see the nano in your device manager, no amount of fiddling around in the Arduino IDE is going to help. Okay. So now if we run the Arduino IDE, Arduino, I think it just comes up in blink on mine right now. It's starting. And if we go to tools, you can see it's all here. The nano, we chose the nano from the board manager. And the processor is the AT Mega 328. If you're using the Chinese version or the compatible, make sure you select the old boot loader, I should say. That's really important. And there's your COM port that matches what we saw in the device manager. And if you get board info, it says unknown board, but that's okay. It, uh, it only works with the genuine stuff. Arduino ISP and that sort of thing. Now the other important aspect is managing libraries. And this pops up and if it asks for libraries or it can't find a library, that sort of thing, like, um, like Dallas is the temperature thing. And searches like Dallas temperatures, that sort of thing. And so you can install and choose one of these and install them and take them out and that sort of thing. So that's the library manager. The other part is the board manager. Boards manager, if you want to use like the uh, like an, a Feather or 32 or some other bizarre board. Feather. Like an AVR board, you can add and remove or mostly just add the boards and add them to, uh, to your supply of boards and those boards will come up. Yeah, here you can see we have the Arduino, the Arduino Do, and the Flora, and the Feather, and a whole bunch of all different boards that I have uh, added to uh, the Arduino IDE. And so that's probably where you want to know in this video. But that's all really important stuff. So I mean, when you plug in your Arduino first, and then run the Arduino IDE, and all this stuff will come up. Again, double check to make sure you got this right. That it's the old bootloader or the or the genuine one, your port, and Arduino ISP. And that'll save you a lot of grief. So that's just getting it going to uh, start with. So that's just the end of this video.